This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okie dokie! Doki Doki is back! Gotta make sure my headset is on correctly. There we go. Sorry for the wait, but guess what? Because I have to voice every single character, it takes a toll on my throat. Okay, you free! We're all done sharing poems, right? <laughs> I noticed that. Thank you, thank you, Marty. Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Is Sayor a, a Sayori a rocker voice? No, I tried to give the characters' voices as close to what I think their canon voices would be as possible. Except Monica, who actually has a canon voice, which doesn't sound anything like I think it would. <laughs> In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's uh, balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? Uh, so much for you two all being all lovey-dovey. Ah, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, dude... <laughs> yeah, Marty, I kind of wish you were here to do some of the voices. Mainly Sayori's, because Sayori's voice is probably the harshest on my throat, along with Natsuki's. And second... She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Yuri's voice is the easiest, because it's literally just, I go quiet. Uh huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked with her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing! That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we need a lot of them, and with different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! Oh boy. <laughs> Natsuki just goes to the store, buys five packs of Hostess cupcakes. <laughs> I made these! <laughs> and as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. As for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Uh, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? How about Yuri just gets the weekend off? You know, she seems like the type who don't, don't want to do a whole lot. I... I'm useless. Yeah, no! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. <laughs> Natsuki's like, what did you just say? <laughs> now, now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I, I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Yes, this will be the most atmospheric festival ever. Okay, your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Artie. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way if, to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. <gasps> That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. I like sitting on my butt! Oh yeah, I'm recording with OBS tonight. 
<laughs> I know exactly what you're referring to. <laughs> now, Suki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. She didn't mumble that! She literally was just like, Don't sit on your butt! <laughs> um, if I remember, recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Artie may not like it to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. She's got a point! So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I never said that! Guys, you're all wrong. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go home, I'm going to watch Muppet Christmas Carol, and then have a great time. And then I'm going to come in and make custom t-shirts for all of us. <laughs> they say lit on them. It's short for a bit richer club. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Artie to... What, what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't correct. You're just buying Hostess cupcakes. <laughs> just what do you think? Guys, c guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Artie to decide how he'd like to contribute. Thank you. Making magic, matching t-shirts and watching the Muppets. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... Mo Monica is hardcore flirting with us right now, and I love it. You literally just said... Uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. <laughs> I would... I would definitely play Mario Base Hall of Natsuki, even though she'd probably be very salty. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Artie, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Oh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me, but of course I'm gonna go with Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on a second. Y yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Huh? But I agree with Natsuki. You just said Artie gets to decide. Artie decide. I wanna go with Mar Monica. Monica's like hardcore flirting with us. It's gonna be hilarious. Not only is your work already m most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Artie was the one who... Oh, sorry, Monica. That doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. No, I picked voluntarily. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? B what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones of ulterior motives. Ah, the classic no-you defense works great in Among Us, too. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. She has a point. This would never happen in real life, by the way, unless you're, like, literally George Clooney. <laughs> That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Uh, um... Ah... Uh, so what are, are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay! I get it! It's technically most logical for Artie to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Artie? Fine, I'll go with Sayori. I mean, if it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. <laughs> I still wanna go with Monica, though. I mean, we're already neighbors, and she also has the Blu-ray edition of Muppet Christmas Carol, so... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her! Jeez, do you really hate us that much? You don't want me to answer that. <laughs> no! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Alright. Alright, chat. Do we go Natsuki or do we, do we go Yuri? I know we're doing Sayori's route, but we gotta pick one of them. Do we spend more time with Natsuki or do we spend more time with Yuri, who will probably kill us? Your decision! <laughs> what do people think? Natsuki, Yuri, Natsuki, Yuri, Natsuki, Yuri. I mean, we're gonna try to see everything anyways, but it doesn't really matter. Marty votes Natsuki. Okay, it's fine to have bad taste, Marty. If Honestly, I don't hate Natsuki. She's the best Sundere. I know cupcakes, but we also get the... Fine. Fine! We'll go for Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry! Baking is a ton of fun! You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that... Th that's because... She's a Sundere. 
Never mind, okay? Of, of course Yuri's route is weird. But Yuri's cute, so it, it makes up for it. <laughs> well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. See, we're getting the guilt tripping. That's good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? Honestly, realistically, I only really wanted to choose Yuri because her voice is easier for me. <laughs> She's cute in Act 1, okay? That's, that's true. Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Artie? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me! What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pouting, too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might be feeling a little bit underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. I mean, we literally had to come up with something just be, uh, Yuri, you can do this. Why would we have somebody help if we already need al resources allocated elsewhere? Also, why can't we just have Yuri help Natsuki with the baking if it's that much of a problem? We didn't really need the decorations. And this is, I, know, I don't understand that. Oh, you, so you, Marty, you haven't even seen what happens when you invite Yuri to your house. Oh, it's, it's interesting. That doesn't mean... Natsuki glances back and forth with, between everyone with a worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her hands on Yuri's shoulder. What was that voice? That... Look. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot, too. Free food is how you get it to sh people to show up. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. Oh, no! You've seen five YouTubers pick Yuri and only one YouTuber pick Natsuki. Okay, never mind. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um... No, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. <laughs> Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, saying such encouraging things. But I began to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to sh say something that Sayori would say at a time like this. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri does... Yuri does lick up your blood. Yes, it's... It's not as weird as it sounds, but it's pretty weird. <laughs> Because Sayori always tries to help everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here for a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? There? We still need to figure out our plans for the weekend. You literally would have gotten home and then realized you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. It's almost like I didn't want to help you. <laughs> I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Don't worry, I will only text you the highest quality memes. Why would I do that? <laughs> That's what he gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Uh, wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? Uh, I mean, I just figured since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. He's such a butt. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me, but I don't have an oven. I only have a quickie microwave. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, Cranky Calm does have 100 defense. <laughs> Nobody will get that reference. <laughs> I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't say you were... Didn't you just say you were going to give me the dirty work? Well, <laughs> I was just saying that. It's not like I could act, like, in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Why couldn't you? Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never get to bake with somebody else before. That's all it is, so... All right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Duh! Don't be silly, she goes to church on Sunday. <laughs> Never mind. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nobody in this game goes to church. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yep, we only have an easy bake oven. I can't believe this! Natsuki's going to be coming to my house on Sunday, and I couldn't go out with Monica! <laughs> Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me that she was looking forward to it. I shook my head. Bruh, we're already so deep in the Sayori where he's like, Wait, Natsuki's coming over? Dan, change of plans. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Honestly, though, Marty, I was saying earlier, out of the three main dating sims I've played, Grisea, Clanade, and DDLC, MC from DDLC might be the most likable of those three protagonists. He's he's kind of tied with Tomoya. <laughs> it's already Sunday. I have been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. Oh no, that's the worst. We send each other one one we send sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She has almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. Barf! Oh, Marty, you didn't see last stream. Last Grisea stream, Yuji from Grisea literally became my least favorite protagonist ever. He literally became less likable than Caillou. And that's saying something. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you everything he did, but it was bad. I'll be uploading the videos probably this week. <laughs> it was bad. Like, I genuinely wanted the good Any to be him and Mitru breaking up because she deserved so much better. She, they didn't. She's almost a different personality on the phone. She also really likes complaining about Fane's, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside... I haven't heard a feign from Sayori before she left the club early the other day. Okay, he didn't quite go that far, Marty, but, um, I'll just say, long story short, he ba like, he's like, Michiru, what do you want? And Michiru's like, uh, like Michiru is basically pseudo suicidal. And she's like, I want to die. And he's like, okay, and then, like, literally buries her alive. It, it worked out in the end, but he literally, like, I'm not joking. That's what he did. <laughs> I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> well, he, he, it was basically a big ploy by Yuji to be like, I'm going to show like Mitru that she doesn't actually want to die by making her die and go into a casket and burying her alive underground, but pumping like oxygen into it without her knowing somehow. And then like when she actually wants to get out, I let her out, and then she feels indebted to me. It was, it was the most manipulative and horrible thing I've ever seen, and the game treated it as a good thing that he did. It was, it was the worst. I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Is Sayori the only one home? Is, like, her parents not here? The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I usually find her. Oh no, this is going to be the worst part to voice. I can't voice this part. Sayori? Hi, Artie. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Oh, she, she got the new clothes. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? 
Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Mr. Cow is best character. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Learn to clean it yourself, girl! That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? I was supposed to see Monica, but that didn't happen. Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's... true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. Okay, I, that's totally understandable, Marty. Also, though, it's going to be a while before that, because I want to go back and do the Yuri and Natsuki roots as well. I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki, then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stands in a random direction. I'm not going to be able to do the whole thing in this one stream, am I? It's all, I've already been streaming for three hours, and we haven't even finished one of the roots. I don't think this is going to work, actually. Doggone it. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. I, I was planning on streaming late, honestly. I can, I can stay up late tonight a little bit, but given how long... It, Act 1's taking me way longer. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should just do one playthrough. That's probably for the best. I'm not going to make it in time otherwise. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Artie. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. And that's true. I kind of wanted this to be a one-off Halloween stream, but dog on it. This would this would have been an all-day stream of race. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this... It's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh... <laughs> See where he gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Artie. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Artie? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, Sayori is such a brilliantly written character. Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to not just think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. This is like the worst thing you could say to somebody in this situation. Be like, oh my gosh, if I feel like you've been betrayed by you not telling me about this earlier. Like, bro, it's not, don't make this about you. <laughs> when you watched the game, you were literally up half the night. That's funny, because this is one of the few horror, there was only one part of this game that actually like unnerved me. To be honest. And that's, um, the thing that hap- the big thing that happens in Act 2. I almost- jeez. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. Well, that's a hard thing to tell people. You don't understand at all, Artie. 
Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have had to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. That definitely feels nice. For sure. Oh, you didn't know! Oh, well that that would be definitely... Okay, yeah, that's understandable a bit. I, I knew going into it. But still, there was there were some things where I'm like, I can... There's only one part that scared me. There were definitely parts that, like, creeped... Disturbed me, I'll say. We'll get to that later. Ha ha ha! That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's the way people go into it. People people go into it just say, play DDLC, it's free, and it's really good. Just go, don't learn anything about it, go into it blind. And that I do think is kind of the... If, if your friend likes horror, that's the best way to do it. But that's, there's no, if my friend did that to me and I did this, I would hate them for it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Artie. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, Artie. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Artie. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Clonade was really good, though. Like, yeah, it was sad. Yeah, it was like one of the only games ever to make me cry. It was so freaking good, though. It was the vault. Wow, it took a long time to, do to beat it, though. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Artie, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Again, not the best thing to say in this situation. I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Artie. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But, your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah! Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No! Don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. 
At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. How did... Yeah, but you didn't play the visual novel of Clonod. You played you you played the anime. <laughs> kind of surprised you didn't, honestly. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when that Suki's about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me.